Brixham. Of Brixham. You see how narrow the road? Yeah, and flooded with all the rain. <laughs> Rains. It's been raining again. Raining again. And then it's only early March, so <laughs> spring is not with us yet. And even now in March, we can still get snow. Although the southwest of England doesn't really get a lot of snow normally. Um, last year was an exception where we got two heavy snowfalls, but uh, not so far this year. Road is too narrow, and there's another car coming. Yep, yeah, pull in. Some nice houses yeah. along here. It's very quiet, no shops, <laughs> you have to go into the town. You see, ganito dito mga friend, look. It's because the road is narrow, bigayan. Sa atin sa Pilipinas, sana ganyan din, pero hindi. Yeah, like some of the roads in the Philippines, around yeah. the barangay. Anyway, we turn left here, we're all heading to Brixham, it's not far now. Brixham is just a small fishing village which forms, it was part of um, Torbay. Torbay is made up of three towns, which is Brixham, Paynton, and the largest town is Torquay. <coughs> Coming up to the cliff at the end of this road. I'm not sure what we'll be able to see. Depends what the visibility is like. This is uh, Battery Gardens here on the left, uh, which uh, was a World War II um, well, site. They had their home guard here with their gun turrets to protect the UK. You can see Torbay over the far side there, but it's um, low clouds, so it's not a particularly clear view. may see more up here. The sun is struggling to come out. Let's see if there's a, maybe a better view along the top. This is Brixham now. You can see the town in front. And there, down there is uh, the harbour, which is where we're going to go and park up. Look. There's a big uh, boat marina down there, which is always full. And now we go down the windy road to the car park on the harbour. Look at the view. We go sharp turn here. A dredger there in the bay. Don't know what he's doing. Dredging, I guess. <laughs> yeah, if we go on the road round, it takes us down to the harbour, but we need to park. So we will go down here to the car park. That's one of the biggest problems in Brixham parking. Parking. Yeah, it's uh, very narrow streets. So parking is uh, a premium. If you bought a house here, uh, very unlikely in the town uh, that you would have any parking at all. Right, let's see if we can go down to the other end and then it's not quite so far to walk into the town. There's one of the fishing trawlers coming in. obviously been out uh, all night and we will park here
That's it. We're here. small fishing village one of my favorite place here in uh, Torbay. It's really lovely here, even, especially during uh, the summer. Right, we're just coming into Brixham and the harbour. This is the, uh, the harbour office up there. It's, it's a restaurant, more offices. There's Rachel up ahead. That's the restaurant, the rockfish. Yes, we'll go on. through the hole and they can't let that out. <laughs> we'll go up here. Hopefully you'll be able to see a bit more of the harbour.
Go. And there you can see the replica of the Golden Hind. And there's Rachel. Lots of portraits here in the book. But not this time of the year. <laughs> Although, well, having said that, some of them do. There's some of the uh, restaurants, gift shops. Souvenir shop. Yes. This here used to be the old fish market. I can remember coming here a long, long time ago, and we even had sharks in here. But no more. Here is the Golden Hind. Let's get closer. We can get a good view of it. Bones. We can actually go inside. Yes, you can go one side when uh, I think it's open now uh, to see what it was like. I think they've got some pictures around here. I'll show you. As I said before, it is only a very small fishing village. Yeah, gift shops. Yeah. <laughs> this is well the high street, which is called Four Street. Yeah. But um, there's not a great deal here. It's just the usual sort of thing <coughs> in these small fishing towns. Uh, there is quite well, an interesting fish and chip shop just around the corner here. Rio. <laughs> I'm going to the oh, Rachel is going in the charity shop. I'm going to leave her there and I'll continue walking up. Taking a shortcut now through to the car park into the town. And I'll go round to onto the, the left. There's a stairs there going up to that Yes, place. yes, there is. That up there is St. Mary's Church. Is that St. Mary's Church? That is St. Mary's Church. And it's famous for, well, many things, but one thing is that the vicar, or the vicar that used to be there many years ago, mm. wrote the hymn, Abide With Me. And he was the, uh, the vicar of that church. Now, we we'll, might as well walk this way. You can see Brixham is a very small fishing village and it is full of the sort of shops that you would expect to see in a seaside town. Brixham 
charity shops. Yes, Brixham is full of charity shops. It's not a view from the town. There's some nice properties up there uh, with the big patio, balcony. Okay, that concludes our little flying visit to Brixham. The weather's not that great, so uh, we should start to call it a day. Headed back to the car.